Hi love, so in my video today I want to talk to you about foods you might want to avoid while you're breastfeeding. Now some of those foods are like caffeine, don't like completely eliminate it, but be, um, be careful with it. Like, uh, consume it in moderation, like small amounts, because if you, because caffeine gets through your breast milk to your baby, so if you want that baby to go to sleep, and you just drank a whole cup of coffee, or a whole soda, or tea, that baby's not going to go to sleep anytime soon. So just be like, time, be timeful with it if you're going to consume it, and also don't consume more than they say like two cups a day. Okay, another one is fish. You want not ever, again, all these things do in moderation. Don't cut them completely out of your diet. But fish, you have to be careful with because of the mercury. So when you're getting fish, make sure you check the mercury levels. Okay, so say you're eating a can of tuna. That is, I think, if I'm right, I think that's like uh, the medium or the range of mercury. So consume like maybe two cans a week, just in moderation with fish. If you're eating salmon, you know, just eat one salmon a week, one piece a week. Um, another one is chocolate, just because of the caffeine. Now, personally, I just ate what I felt like it when, when I was breastfeeding, and both my kids were fine, except my first daughter, she was colicky. Um, now, another big thing to avoid is like broccoli, beans, cauliflower, cabbage, them will give your baby some terrible gas. Now broccoli, I love broccoli, so when I was breastfeeding, I wanted broccoli. It was hard, but yet, again, I did it in moderation. So like, I would eat broccoli, like just a little bit of broccoli with like a meal, and I wouldn't eat it every day. I'd eat broccoli maybe like two times a week. Okay, and another thing is garlic. You gotta be careful with garlic and babies. Because garlic, it'll go through your breast milk and your baby actually might refuse to nurse. Just because they might not like the taste of garlic. So again, just be careful with what you eat. They think some things are good. And like I said, don't cut them completely out of your diet. Just consume them in like moderation. Just smaller amounts than if you weren't breastfeeding. Just because of your baby. Um, also, um, dairy. Like, dairy can give babies terrible gas. Now, it's good. They say it's good calcium, but me, personally, I don't believe it because I don't drink dairy. I actually drink almond milk, but if you're looking for calcium and protein, go with soy milk. Okay, because that ha that is good in protein and, um, and calcium. If you're breastfeeding, take vitamins. Vitamins are so, 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 so important when you're breastfeeding. So take prenatal vitamins to help you get your calcium and all the daily nutrition that you need that you aren't getting in your food. But, um, so also eat about two cups of fruit a day, okay? Just two cups, because again, fruit can also give them an upstate stomach or give them gas. But again, like I said, just consume these things in moderation and just be mindful of your being. Like, that's all. But, alright, mamas, I hope I helped. Oh, another one. Be careful with spicy food. If you're gonna eat spicy food, again, cut it down lower than what you like would eat if you weren't like breastfeeding. Just cut it down lower so it doesn't irritate your baby's stomach that much. So just consume it. But, but all right, mamas, I hope I helped, and I will see you in my next.